What's up, it's your boy Remus, and in this video is for the fellas, we're gonna be speak, speaking about how to find the healthy feminine woman. I did a video for the ladies talking about how to find and get the ma healthy masculine man, so we're gonna do it the other way around, right? Now, first of all, I always see guys saying, where is this type of woman? Where is that type of woman? Where are they? Where are the women that think like this? Where are the women that think like that? And I don't really like it because it kind of, it kind of puts you at the mercy of the world and what the world provides rather than what you yourself are able to create and provide for yourself. A man is the solution. You know, he's able to literally, like he's literally able to make what he imagines and what he feels and what he thinks, he's able to make it come into reality. So we don't want to be do too dependent on the world to provide us with a certain thing, even if we know it does have influence. Cause you could say, hey, well, I could go to different parts of the world and so on and um, you know, find more feminine women. And that's definitely true, but let's just say that isn't the case for you. I want you to stop asking so much, where is this type of woman? And start asking what type of man am I first? That's important, do that. Because when you ask, where's this type of woman? You know, the answer really is she's within you. Women are just a reflection of the conditions that the masculine sets. Literally. So any type of woman you would look at and go, oh, she's a feminine woman. There were a series of men or a man that made her like that, whether it was her father or a healthy relationship she had with men in the past. She is a reflection of those experiences that she had. So if that's the case, you can be the reason why a woman interacting with you will be the reflection of, you know, the healthy standards and the healthy value that you have within yourself. Stop asking where's this type of woman. Usually it's, it's, not, it's not like we can say, oh, okay, go to down this street and go down that street and you will find her. It doesn't really work like that. Um, especially if you're staying in the country you're in. So start asking what type of man are you? Because women are moldable. Women will literally reflect the type of guy that they're with. She can be with one type of guy, she can be chaotic, toxic, all of that stuff. And the same woman can go to another man. And if she values him enough, if she respects him enough, if his structure is stubborn enough, she will have no choice really emotionally, but to want to reflect and mold to his structure. It's literally just the way they're built. Of course, um, it could be difficult or longer, depending on what type of girl she is and what experience she, experiences she had. Of course, that's the case. But for the most part, many women are much more moldable than you think, right? So what's also important to know, and well, the second thing that you need to know about where to find or how to get the healthy feminine women is that once you change you, the frequency that you're putting out is very different. You're putting out a different vibe. You're putting out a very different energy, especially in terms of when you speak, when you post, when you walk, when you, you know, interact with people, when you interact with the world, the universe has no choice but to send you back the frequency that you're putting out. So you can expect that if you do change you, you do upgrade you, you do become abundant in value, the way that women will react to you is going to change. I see a lot of guys that have grown up and let's say they're in their 30s and 40s, they talk about this stuff a lot. They're like, it's crazy because the same type of woman who wasn't giving me, giving me no chance in my 20s is practically the one chasing me down in my 30s, 40s and 50s because they worked on themselves. If you're not a guy that worked on yourself, this won't make sense to you. You know, you're, you're gonna be like, well, that's not the case. But if you are a guy that hammered this down and you kept going, you kept moving, you kept challenging yourself, you kept building value, knowing, under, knowing and understanding what women like and what they're attracted to, literally it's, it's gonna become the case that you're gonna increase the quality and quantity of the type of woman that you, that you want, right? So also with that, you want to be stubborn with your boundaries. So the next thing that you need to know about finding the healthy feminine women is that you have to have hardcore boundaries. I was talking before about having stubborn structure. If you're a guy who's a bit 
you're you're a bit wishy-washy you're moldable like the feminine you're like a leaf in the wind um don't expect to activate and draw out a woman's femininity it's not going to happen because she will naturally become the hard structure that you're lacking because someone needs to be it and if it's not going to be you it will be her so be a guy who's stubborn with your boundaries be a guy who demands respect for yourself and be a guy who demands respect like she has to um she has to reflect the respect that you give yourself and there isn't any other option for her to stay there and disrespect you practically you know women like this because they go okay this is a natural man she needs to feel like this is a masculine guy you're not going to draw out masculine uh, femininity out of her if you are not masculine yourself which brings us to the next point you have to work on your masculinity if you want to attract and keep and fulfill a healthy feminine woman, right? A feminine woman will demand this just naturally because especially if she's a woman who's not down for going into her masculinity, she's going to say, well, no, I, yeah, I need a man who's in his masculine so he supports my femininity. And if that's not the case, this is not for me. I'm going, I'm leaving. That's literally how they will be. A lot of them won't necessarily leave physically, but we know women will say, oh, well, I'm still here mentally, but uh, I'm, st I'm still here physically, but mentally I'm gone. That is very true, <laughs> you know? I'm not saying that's right. I don't, you know, morally, we might not agree with that, but it really doesn't matter what, what we morally agree with because certain things are gonna happen anyway. And it's better you just be a problem solver and you adapt to reality. So the more you work on yourself as a man, your boundaries, your discipline, your code, your honesty, your authenticity, your ability to um, uh, lead and so on, all of this is going to just draw the feminine women and uh, feminine women because they are seeking this. They cannot, they can't find this. Trust me when I say this, they are looking, they are looking hard. They want the masculine leaders and because there's so few of them they are literally being drawn to those guys like moths to a flame or a light you know so the more you stick within that by being stubborn with your boundaries and who you are the more you can embody this type of mindset you're not gonna you know change and be less of a man according to what type of situations you're in or what type of woman you know, let's say a, a woman who's a bit more masculine comes into your life. You're not going to become softer to accommodate her masculinity. No, she's going to have to go. And you don't want to be stopped from, you know, being in your masculine self. As I said, you want to be increasing, increasing your masculinity. So, of course, this attracts the feminine woman. The masculine attracts the feminine. The feminine attracts the, the masculine. And then the last thing is, it kind of links to being stubborn with your boundaries, is you have to stop pouring or penetrating your energy into toxic women. If you want a healthy feminine woman, you have to have tunnel vision. You have to say, no other woman. That's it. I'm not getting with toxic women. I'm not getting with unhealed women. I'm not getting with women who want to be masculine. For a, Like, you can give a woman a chance. You can. You can give her a couple months to adjust. Maybe a few months. Maybe even up to a year. But she has to be working on her femininity, for sure. And she has to be receptive to you. But if she's stubborn and she's not about that, you go. You go. That's your superpower as a man in relationships. You leave this situation, right? And this is a respect for yourself. Stop giving yourself to a toxic woman because there is a woman praying. I swear to you, I promise you, there are women praying for the type of man that you are or, bec or are becoming. They are praying for the healthy masculine man. So why not get with that, that sort of woman over the woman who won't appreciate you and is a little bit or very toxic and she is is okay staying that way that doesn't make sense to me you have a better experience if you just say no stop dealing with those women and only pull yourself into the healthy feminine women that you say that you want right even if because i see a lot of guys say this they say are oh, those women who are you know toxic or those women who are not operating properly or whatever it is they're not conducting themselves in a womanly way let's just use them for recreational activity they're just rec recreational use only well you can do that but now you're creating 
and supporting the existence of the type of woman you say you don't want. You say you don't want toxic women. You say you don't want women who don't cook or don't nurture and nourish their man, who aren't family orientated and don't want to treat their man well, but you keep banging them. Like you keep getting with them. And as as long as you keep doing that, it, they're going to feel validated in being that way because they can still get attention. So stop getting with those type of women. Have some respect for yourself and only pour yourself into women who deserve it. Your sexual energy is valuable energy. Your attention, time, focus is very valuable. Stop giving it to women who don't deserve it. Now, anyway, I want to know what you think, right? Maybe I'll do a part two on this if you want. Right, just comment down below, let Remus know, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.